I was so sure Cato was our man. How did I totally misread the clues? Um, we all misread the same clues. Yeah. When it came to Professor Cato, we were barking up the wrong tree. Do dogs even solve crimes? Because they should. That would be so adorable. Guys, I really appreciate you having my back, but this is my case. I blew it, and now I have to fix it. And I think it's time we pay Dr. Crawford another visit. She's the only other person that had unrestricted access to the prototype. Well, besides my dad. Can you imagine him a master criminal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <No>. never. <laughs> Dr. Crawford it is. Hey, I sure would like to talk. I'll text him back later. I need to get to Space Inc. to analyze Dr. Crawford's digitalized phone logs before she gets to work. Hold up, Em. You really do need to see this. Kyle made you a video! Hi, Michaela. Hi, Kyle. I'm hoping that right now you're saying, hi, Kyle, back. She did. He knows her so well. Anyway, I'm sending you this video because I got you something. It's a little congratulations present. Since you got the internship at Space Inc., I got you your own star. Aww. See this? See this tiny dot? That is your star. And its coordinates are in the constellation Ursa Major, your favorite, right? Oh. There's more. Uh, I will give it to you next time I see you. Bye. Bye, Kyle. That was pretty romantico, right? Kyle's amazing. And getting my very own exploding ball of hydrogen and helium is kind of like my dream gift. But right now I need to focus on this case and nothing else. So, who wants to tell Kyle how it went? Nice. Nikoi ne moje, ta znaj zašto ste tu. Dva roboti. Kak može da? Sve zobe znaj. Nikoi ne moje, ta znaj zašto ste tu. Snapchatting and texting, and we'd follow each other on Instagram, and people would think we were besties, but we'd say it's nothing. But it's actually something. Oh, there's something, all right. Cam and I have loved Elite's music for so long. I've studied it actually. I broke down all their drops and listened to all their tracks. Eli's a musical genius. My favorite is This Is Nothing. What's yours, Em? Actually, there's so many that I haven't heard. I don't know their music. If only I were you, to listen to their music again for the very first time. What's up, Maywood Glen Academy? It's good to be home. I miss you guys. I also miss my Grandma Jay's oatmeal cookies. I love you, Grandma. Anyway, as all of you know, we just came back from a very successful world tour. And as a way to thank our hometown, we will be giving a free concert at this very school. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Kyle. That's pretty cool of these guys to give a free concert, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, my brother and Eli were in a couple classes here together, and now Eli's a star, so kind of gives hope for average guys like me, huh? Not at all. What? No, I mean, you're not average, and you have a shot at being more than average. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks. Um, that's encouraging. Uh, well, 
I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead here, but uh, see ya. <sighs> one step forward, two steps back. I think you mean two steps forward and one step back? I wish I did, but we will get there. And for our return home, we have amazing news, Maywood Glenn. To tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up the man of the hour. The man that made it all happen, our sponsor, Simon Temple! No way, no way! I can't believe Simon Temple is here! And maybe we're glad! Just breathe, just breathe. Okay, let's see what's breathing. Simon Temple is epic, and he's not even 30. He just made the annual list of global entrepreneurs under 30. He's worked with all the hot young innovators. Ricky Muller, Leah Busk, Lisa DeLuca. And one day, I hope. Me. Hey, uh, Devin, um, I don't have you down here for an audition. Because I'm not. I'm just doing a favor for Brie and Pam. I got these color filters for your light show. Trust me, you'll like it. Do we have a choice? Nope. Uh, it's Brian Cam. She does not care. Yeah, she still calls me Lyle. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yo, Camsterdam. Congrats on, if you're lucky, second place. <laughs> well, you know what else is number two, Justin? Yeah, let's not go there. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, it's working. He's in there. This is my one shot to make an impression on Simon Temple. What if he doesn't like what I've created? Are you kidding? Simon's gonna flip when he sees how insanely talented you are. Plus, with my EDM beats, we're gonna crush it. Circuit beats, you're up. <sighs> Let's do this. Go, girls! Yeah! Yeah! Protect the prince and save the world from evil do it? No thanks. I'm glad to see you're all so enthusiastic. But before we go anywhere, I'd like to get a sense of your skills. No worries! We got mad skills. No doubt. But I'm gonna need something that shows me how I can best utilize you out in the field. Consider it an ops test? An ops test? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds awesome. I just can't see anything in these glasses. Sweet volcano cake. But how exactly would this help us protect the prince? Well, what if there's a special occasion that calls for an explosive impact? 
Oh, Promising. Whoops! Got some love on your cute cakes. Yes. And now it's losing down my socks. Off test. My turn. Smile. Uh, not sure the point in taking my picture. Show you something special I could do. <laughs> Uh, while I appreciate your IT aptitude, I can't afford to be on every social media site in the universe. Maybe you're not getting the secret part in Secret Agent? Exhale, I just hacked into your last wireless system and posted it to the IP addresses on the devices in this room. Only we could see it. There, Instagon. Thank you. Oh, hello again. And bye bye so your special skill is torturing the enemy by bursting their eardrums? Huh? Hey, I finished! What is it? Well, it was a bunch of useless parts. Now, it's a portable police scanner with added features. I call it Cam's Portable Police Scanner with added features. Wow, you really are bad at naming things. Wait, that could help us locate the prints from the security detail they're planning for him. Nice work. So, did we pass the ops test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are H-90-3301, the rear space training facility for back over. Got it. Bienvenido. Maybe you're right. I didn't give them a fair chance. Maybe they were trying and I didn't know how to lead them. What's wrong with me? Why am I so stubborn, so difficult, so annoying? Was I born this way? No, sweetie. <clears throat> I mean, no, Agent McAllister, you were not born that way. But why don't we talk about this later, after you get the girls and find the prince? I guess I just always want people to do things my way or just do it myself. That's right. Now, back to your research. Maybe I shouldn't be so closed off. Let people in, let them help me. Great idea for the future. Time is ticking. Just open my eyes and I'll be so oblivious to the world around me. See what's right in front of you guys? What's going on? We got him, ma'am! I can't believe it! Go on! Go on! Uh-huh! Secret agent! Hey, John! <laughs> That's incredible! Amazing! So, where's the prince? We forgot to ask. I'll be right there. So, why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. Or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? Uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Black Star's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory method. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Black Star, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us about what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? Kind of late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstone's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. It took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. This isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is... 
I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands. Who knows what he's capable of? But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Daron wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's gotta be in the control room already. There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Black Star won't be able to harm anyone. Ever. Cam's right. We have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet one of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Ooh. Who is it? Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here until you get back. Excellent work getting the prince out of there. I knew I made the right choice with you. Now that he's away from those silly little girls, no one can stop my plan. After tonight, no government agency can ever touch me again. I'll see you at the launch. It's going to be a glorious night. Oh, after tonight, everything is going to change.